108 Dragons bringing you a treat. This video source goes to a YouTuber, Patrick Nan. Y'all know how much I love Bruce Lee and that Star Wars. You are in for a treat. Check this out. Here we go. Check this out. My man Bruce Lee's a bad man, baby. Woo! Ho oh ho! Patrick Nan, you got some talent, baby. Uh oh! Oh, that shit had like the hot burning cigarette tip. <laughs> now what you gonna do? Woo! Oh, he nicked my man. <laughs> oh, man, y'all see this? <laughs> oh, shit. It's on now. Five movies, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bet you can't subscribe to this movie, man. This is talent, baby. Uh -oh. I like that. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus. And let's jump straight into this gaming news. And I hope y'all was entertained by that beginning of the episode because I thought I wanted to share that. I, th I wanted to share that with y'all. I thought that was ill. That dude, Patrick Nan, is, is a beast. Go subscribe to him. He's real creative. I wanted to share that on my channel. But let's just hop into this news. Black Panther has sank the Titanic in the U.S. for the third biggest movie in U.S. history. Let's go, people. The, super mo the superhero movie has now made $665.3 million in the U.S., surpassing Titanic at $659.3 million. Now that's just local. It's already over a billion worldwide, but this is just amazing. And to top off, Star Wars: The Force Awakens made 936 million U.S. and Avatar is at 760 million on the U.S. soil. The Force Awakens almost made a billion dollars in the United States alone. Damn. But that Black Panther's at number three strong, baby, and counting. It made another $8.4 million just this past weekend alone. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's hop into some gaming news. Now, let's jump into, is your PC ready for Vampire, baby? Yes. Got to make sure, you know, I told you all the time, got to make sure your computer's up to par because when these new games come out, they seem to up the stats across the board on what the lower requirements are required. To get the game to run, PC owners will need a 64-bit OS, a i3-2130, or AMD FX-4100 and better, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a GTX-660, or Radeon R7370 graphics card. That is the minimum. However, to meet the recommendation requirements, an upgrade to a i7-3930K or Ryzen chip 5, 1600, 16 GB of RAM, and a GTX 970 or R9-390 is required. This is what I'm talking about, baby. And this game is set in London and in 19, 1918 and puts players in a newly turned vampire, Dr. Jonathan 
Reed, who must find a cure to save the city's flu ravaged citizens while fighting the urge to feed on those he's vowed to heal. And yes, this game will be coming out on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, June 5th, 2018. Get your PCs and consoles warmed up, baby, because I think we're going to be into a blood-sucking extravaganza. Now, it looks like PUBG is not stopping with the modes that they currently have in the game. It looks like they're adding gun game to Fortnite Battle Roy. Now, this mode has appeared in games like Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. This is what I'm talking about. It starts off players with a weak weapon and upgrades it with each kill they get. The first player to work through all the weapons in the mode and get a kill with the final one wins the round. This is what I'm talking about. Epic. Let's get this mode popping. All new modes to a multiplayer game is always welcome and people take on different challenges and it's definitely, definitely shaping up to be a fantastic game. Yes, now check this out. PUBG is releasing a brand new update today for Players Unknown Battlegrounds. And it has many fixes and improvements, such as optimization for vehicles, optimization for grass, and fix for voice chat issue that caused the games to crash. Now let me tell you the main update here, and we're going to get into the crate and the new uh items that you get at them but let's talk about a bug that i've been telling people they were like lemon you can't drive what you drinking and driving i'm like no the goddamn vehicle flipped on its own and then we didn't even hit nothing here go one of the major fixes and i'm so happy baby let's get into this a fix for a serious bug that causes vehicles to flip or get airtime for no reason shout out to my man crazy man my man 100 that's what I'm talking about because they was like, Lemon, where you driving? My man Flip. <laughs> you already know what it is. And my man Doom. Now, here you go. The fix is in today. This includes all three wheel bikes also. So now, when y'all go flipping, it's y'all fault. Not my fault. It was the game fault. Stop blaming the kid. Woo! Now, let's get into these crates and what's coming into these cosmetics. A Western military crate will be available for purchase with BP points. That's battle points, baby. Well, you will be able to get new outfits and such. And it's welcome because I think the stuff that they got in there is quite lame. Now, let's hop into some more news. It's almost inside Xbox time. We got to get this work. Facts. Man, oh, man, oh, man. I love to be right. I told everybody. This Resident Evil, when I reviewed it, way back when the game dropped, that's 7 that is, that was going to be a successful game because this is bringing a new, fresh breath into Resident Evil series. And it comes out that the series is doing quite well and sells 5 million units. Let's go, people. This is what I'm talking about. And if you have that PSVR, this is one of the better games to play in vr this is what i am talking about baby wow now in other great financial news grand theft auto 5 is the most profitable entertainment product of all times yes we know that Grand Theft Auto has sold more than 90 million units and ranked in roughly $6 billion worth of revenue for Rockstar? Whoa! Whoa! Jesus, Lord have mercy. That is $6 billion? 90 million sold? Ain't nothing to talk about, people. Stand up. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to talk about. This game is a monster. Now, in the final news of today, Gran Turismo Sport, in a partnership with Audi and Polyphenol Digital, revealed two new Gran Turismo Sport cars that's dropping today. The Audi Vision Gran Turismo, which is a hybrid 
vehicle capable of 90 kilowatts of energy and the Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo which is a pure electric vehicle that can do 600 kilowatts this is what I'm talking about so if you are into Gran Turismo and you're looking for some new electric car electrifying speeds Go check out them two new car downloads from Audi, partnering Proliferally Digital. That's what I'm talking about. Now, that's all the news I have for you today. If you enjoyed the content and you enjoy my energy, like and subscribe. Right now, I will be streaming soon as the Xbox Inside Show starts on my YouTube channel. Yes, live reactions from your boy Lemetius. Like and subscribe. And I'm out. Cheese.